So I finally went fishing with Gary from my neighborhood. Woo! Five things I brought y'all back from fishing with my white homie. Five. Number one, they have all of the extra fishing equipment you could dream of and need. I told Gary I'm not really a fisher, so I don't got no fishing equipment. He said, Josh, it's okay, I got you. So I thought he would give me like one of those little Fisher Price fishing poles. You know those fishing poles with the little characters on it that are used for kids and you throw it out there and you push the little button and it reels back in? No, Gary ain't had that. Fishing rod that he let me use was called the Orvis Helios Fishing 2 rod or something like that. When I Googled it and looked it up, I was like, I don't want this. Take it, Josh. I don't want this. Take it, Josh. Gary, if I break this fishing rod, I don't want to hear nothing out here on this ocean. I want to make it back to shore because this fishing rod is like the price of a root canal. I would have been totally fine with a used tennis racket or a string and a soda can. You want to give me the Bentleys of fishing rods to let that use and I'm a first-time fisher? If I cast this and it doesn't cast back, you better bring my... It's back to shore. Number one, they gonna let you use whatever they got and it ain't no objections to it. Number two, white people think it's funny when you scatter stuff. It's not funny. So we went and fished in Marco Island, Florida, beautiful area, and we out there just fishing, and I finally caught some. I'm excited, but I'm not excited because I know I'm scared of fish because I'm scared of spiders. Fish is the spider of the sea to me. So as I'm reeling it in, he's excited like, go, Josh, and I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, hell no. Who gonna get this fish off this screen when it get here? So I guess my body language was kind of showing and Gary was just looking at me like, I'm, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> nah, nah, Gary, don't play with me. Gary, please, let's, let's remain the friends that we've been. Gary, don't, Gary, don't play with me. When the fish hit the boat, Gary grabbed the fishing screen, grabbed the fish and looked at me. I looked at him, he looked at me, we looked at each other. In slow motion, cut the fish off the line, got it off the hook and tossed it to me. Gary had to laugh for like 14, 15 straight minutes. I wasn't thinking it was funny because my life flashed before my eyes and a lot didn't happen yet. If you finna go on any trip with any white person, when they find out your fears, they are going to exploit and tease you about them because they think it's funny. I can still feel his gills on me. Number three, white people don't comprehend that we might be too far out. Too far out. Once I got over the fear of the spider of the sea, I was back to chilling, and I was like, you know, I'm just going to cast and just enjoy his conversation and his company. And then I started realizing we really couldn't see the shore no more. Like, the shore didn't look like a shore no more. It looked like, shh. There was no O-R-E anymore. Hey, Gary, um, we can't see land, bro. It ain't no land, ho. It ain't none of that, dog. We going to, um, I, I just seen a seagull, and the seagull just said, too far. So we probably want to turn back, Gary. Gary, if your white buddies say they going fishing, y'all going fishing. Fishing ain't by land. Fishing ain't where cars can pass on the road. Fishing is in that ocean where it's you, him, and nature. And nature gonna win every single time. If you get seasick, if you get seasick, not S-E-A, S-E-E. -E, that means if you can't see and you get sick, don't go on that boat. Because if you going on that boat, you probably gonna be in the middle of some Coast Guard type areas, dog. Number three, they going far as they are legally allowed to go. Number four. Eat before you come, cause boy. Now every activity I've done, white people always have enough food for about 18 countries. On a fishing trip, you got some bill, you got some water, and you might have some chips. But as far as heavy food, sandwiches and sandwiches and hot dogs and burgers and sandwiches, that's not coming on this boat. If you are going fishing, you're going to be under the sun and you're going to start the bacon, you're going to get dehydrated. So you're going to drink. If you don't drink beer, you're going to drink a lot of water. But okay, Gary, I'm a little bit hungry now. What we got? Some like chopped steaks, some pancakes, some waffles. You got some cheese grits out here? Nah. You got Budweiser and you got a Corona. What you drinking, Josh? I don't, I don't drink. I just want something to eat, Gary. Come on, Josh. We're on the sea. Everybody knows you eat what you catch. I, I ain't catch nothing. Everything I catch, I'm throwing it back. And then where the hell am I going to fry that, Gary? I'm going to fry it on my hands. We're going to hold it in the sun. And the Lord going to bake it just for me, Gary? I hope you're smart enough to smuggle something in your pants between your butt. I don't know what it is. Treat it like it's jail. You better tuck a honey bun up under that shirt. And Gary, look at Josh, why your chest so big today? Nothing. It ain't, it ain't nothing, Gary. I ain't nothing. I ain't nothing. And number five, although I have melanin in my skin and it drinks the sun, when you going on that sea, dress for the occasion. 
Now, everybody know when white folks going to be in the sun a long time, they go and they get their SPF 50, 40, 45, 60 degrees. Black people, we like, nah, we're going to drink the sun, so we don't put nothing on. So I was out there with nothing on. Gary was out there. He had his bandana around his neck. He had his arms covered. He had his glasses in his hat. It was just me out there. I was out there it's like I came out the coochie, just naked, right? He was on the water for like 12, 14 hours. I didn't expect this. When he came back, he looked normal, except he was like pale well. Everything was covered and stuff. I got out the car, just nice mocha brown. I got back in the car, leather black. Easily. Somebody could have struck a match on me and set the whole earth on fire. Listen, if you are, I don't care what race you are, I don't care what color you are. If you going fishing, cover your body. Take heed. Look at them. Watch what they got on, and you dress just like that because I'm telling you, you gonna bake in that sun. That sun is not racist. That sun ain't gonna say, he white, he black, I ain't gonna darken him, baby. The sun gonna look at you, put his glasses up, oh, he tripping, and tear that ass up, I'm telling you right now. But, overall, the experience was an experience to remember, and I can't wait to go fishing again. Oh, hey, baby, pull me in close and don't let me go. Make up to me. Who uh, in the world's at war? Let your love in a song right now.